boy. <laughs> so I hope this video records. I had to, I got cut off in the middle of my video and now I have to start all over again. I didn't have enough storage space on my phone. So I'm hoping by me deleting some things, I can record this whole video and make it quick. First of all, this is a black business. Um, I would just say spotlight supporting black businesses. And um, first of all, I want to start with something I got from Amazon. I'm going pretty fast. Um, these are some earrings and they're wood. They're very light. And it says naturally dope. It's a woman with an afro. So you can, you know, I think I'm natural and I'm dope. Or you have a natural and you dope. <laughs> so yeah, I love these earrings. Came from Amazon.com. And um, I have retightened my hair myself. Anyway, it's not about my hair. The next video, hopefully. So anyway, the first video, I mean, the first person I want to talk about, I found her right here on YouTube. Um, she, um, I think her channel, her YouTube channel is KUnity77. And she has an Etsy shop. Her name is Khadija. And uh, her Etsy shop is B-O-A-B-W. And I think it stands for... My mind just went blank. This is so terrible. So this is a card. I'll leave the Etsy information at the bottom. And so she did a video and she showed these beautiful earrings. I love them. Um, these are the earrings. Oops, sorry. You show these. And on the back, it has her initials. So these are very pretty. Let me hold it the right way. But when I'm wearing them on my ear, they fall sort of like this. Not like that. I have it turned. They fall like this. They're very pretty. So these are the first pair. Uh, the second pair I ordered from her, it says, I'm history. And I don't know what's wrong with me today. They fall like this on the ear. Very pretty. And I'm getting into handmade jewelry, Afrocentric, tribal jewelry. I got rid of a lot of my jewelry that I got from the shop, they say. My taste has definitely changed. Um, I guess being that I have my, my locks now, I'm really into the Afrocentric type of stuff. And then I saw these in another one of her videos, and I really liked them because they were different. These are so pretty. And the back is black. I thought it was going to be purple because I thought she did it purple. But that's okay. I still love them. So that's what I got from her. Now the next person I found through her from her video and very nice ladies. All the ladies that I met from Etsy, they're so sweet and so nice. Um, this one young lady, she did a spotlight on her and this is a person's name. The website is called houseofheadhebrew.com and the owner name is Natasha. From speaking with her through email and I guess through the phone thing, she's so nice. She's very nice and she went out of her way. This particular piece I'm going to show you had sold out, but she made one for me. And this is the bracelet that Khadija has showed on her video. It's a wrap. It's a wrap bracelet and it is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I had to get it. It's well made and it'll fit, fit any wrist. So pretty. I love this bracelet. Gorgeous. And these are the cowrie shells. Cowrie shells. And all the beads and stuff. Very pretty. And so Khadija also showed these earrings in her video. And you know me, when I want something, I go for it. I went. They were, I think, a uh, limited edition, but I got love, you know. <laughs> so she made them for me too. Yes. Um, this symbol, 
I believe I did some research. I can't remember. I think it means life. It's a um a ankh. So this was the original cross back in I guess Egyptian times. I'm not I think something like that. And it means life, the key of life. And this is supposed to be the woman at the top. I think the man is the bottom. And these are the kids, I guess, uh, the fallopian tube. But it, it's the key of life. It's not no Illuminati, Illuminati or nothing like that. And these are so pretty. And they're very lightweight. So that's what I got from House of Head Hero. Now the next person that I ordered from, I found her myself on Etsy. I typed in, I guess, African earrings, and this lady came up, oh no, oh gosh, I don't have her Etsy channel, um, I didn't write it down, I'm sorry, it's going to be at the bottom, or I'll do something, yeah, but she was so nice, so I ordered these the first time, it's a comb, and I think this is so pretty. I ordered these the first time. And the post that it came on, I guess it wasn't strong enough for the beads. And I wore it. And then all of a sudden it broke. So I called her back. You know, I wasn't making a big deal. I was just going to ask her to send me some more beads because I lost the beads. And it looked like something I can fix. So she was like, oh, no. You know, she wanted to send me a whole new pair. And when she sent me these earrings... She sent me, um, I don't know which one came from. Yeah, these. She sent me these as a free gift. These are so cute. So cute. So she sent me those. And then when she sent me the new pair that I ordered, you know, I got for replace, she sent me these. This is jade. A stone jade. And I forgot what this symbol means. I forgot. It's something... This got something to do. I can't remember. But it's so positive. And this is so pretty. So that's from. I had to delete some more stuff. So let me make this quick. I don't know where I left off. But okay, the last person that I ordered from Etsy is called Zen Custom Jewelry. Etsy.com. So I ordered um oh I'm I'm missing a pair of earrings. Um yeah. Love my locks, earrings, whatever. I got these from her. They're wood. And they have a cowrie, a cowrie shell on here. And I ordered some other earrings, but I, I left them. And then I got this for my locks. Lock jewelry. I ordered this too. So that is what I ordered from her. I don't know if... <laughs> I'm going to be able to put this on my locks. I uh, have small locks. Okay. I think it's adjustable. So I can get this on my locks. Um, with you guys on here. And I really thank you guys for watching my video. Um, this lock jewelry is so new to me. And I don't know um, how to... Cause my locks are small they're not like big locks so i don't want to mess up see it's not i have to figure this out later but this is what it will look like on my hair see like that and i'm gonna have to adjust it probably off of my locks and then squeeze it on fix it because i don't want to mess it up how it's supposed to look so yeah so that is what it is um, anyway, you guys, I thank you for watching my video. Sorry for the, um, the video cut it off like that, but I have to delete a lot of stuff off my phone. I have to figure out a way to take my pictures off my phone and keep them. I don't know if I should get, um, a drive or something or some kind of memory thing because I'm not ready to print all the pictures out so I have to figure out something if anyone have any suggestions about where to keep my pictures and stuff on my phone um, let me know down in the comment section so 
Thank you very much for watching my video and thank you for staying, staying subscribed. Uh, I have been gone a long time and that's about it. All right. Bye-bye.